Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm working on another new game. This is a game that I've had for a while that I haven't had a chance to uh, start to work on restoring. And uh, I'm finally getting a chance to do a little bit of work on it. And I haven't done any videos on this, so um, let's just jump in and I'll show you what I've been doing. This, this game's been sitting um, at my house for a while and I've uh, it was in my repair shop and I never got to it, so I said, I'm going to bring it to my house and stick it in my living room and that's going to force me to um, work on it. And so that's basically what's been happening. Um, this is a Gottlieb haunted house. This is a, a, a pretty highly sought after game. Um, very unique. It's got like three different leveled play fields. Very elaborate, very complicated. What you're seeing here is the under play field. I've got the game already torn apart and I'm starting to go over it. Um, and I'll just give you a little introduction into what I've done so far. So when I got this game, it did work, but it was it, it had been messed up quite a bit. <clears throat> Mainly there's a, a, a connector in the back box that had just been completely ganked, and it's going to have to be completely redone. I'm always afraid of repinning really messed up connectors because you just never know if the wiring is right. I'm going to have to really spend a lot of time on that, get some pictures of existing games and just check all the wiring codes and everything. So before I get to that, I'm just going over everything else in the game. Um, and I'm discovering a bunch of interesting things uh, that are different from the standard game. For example, on this game, somebody has put fuses on the pop bumpers. Look at this. Um, kind of interesting. This, this game's been modified in some ways that I hadn't seen before. So there's inline fuses on some of these pop bumpers. I also see some electrolytic capacitors put in put on some coils too. I assume that's to arrest the reverse uh, current that comes through. I don't know if that's stock or not because it's not. It's it's only on a particular coil. Maybe it's a, uh, this is that, that, that kickback, I think. Um, anyway, some interesting stuff. This is a really complicated game. A lot of, uh, you could tell the bill of materials on this thing was probably crazy. You've got your, your rectifier board down here. You've got these two filter caps. Um, I'm going to end, I'm going to replace both of these. And then you've got this lower play field. Um, I think it, it unscrews and pulls out. I've started to take the plastics off of it and um, clean it up a little bit. There's some wear around this pop bumper here. There's some wear here for the ball dropping down into the play field or something. Uh, some of this is old because there's a piece of mylar around this wear. So somebody has already done some work there. Um, so I'm going to clean this up and wax it. I'm, I'm putting new rubber, so I'm basically using a combination of black and white rubbers because I don't have everything the same size but you won't be able to tell when all the plastics are on. Um, I have already rebuilt all the pop bumper boards. There's a lot of pop bumpers in this thing and so these boards are all over the place. So I've got I've done a, another video. Now maybe the reason why they have the um, fuses on these these pop bumpers is because maybe the pop bumper boards were malfunctioning or something. But uh, anyway, I rebuilt the boards, so uh, that should probably help matters a bit. And um, we'll check all of that, of course. So, God, upper playfield, middle playfield, lower playfield. This is going to be a beast um, to work on, but it's a very fun game, and uh, it'll be great. Here's like a little plastic thing that goes over this, so it looks like there's a cobweb, um, and so I'm slowly cleaning everything. I've got uh, plastics pulled and cleaning all of that, and I'm also uh, upgrading everything with LEDs as I go along, so, um, and boy, some of these lights are hard to get to, you know. It's proven really to be quite challenging to pull things out. Um, there's one particular light right over here. See that light right there? There's no easy way to get in to get to that without removing some stuff. Um, 
So there's like one one incandescent bulb I can't get to easily, and I don't want to risk um, having it fall somewhere in the machine. So um, I'm slowly making progress on it. So it'll be a fun game, and uh, this will be hopefully uh, more in a series showcasing uh, Gottlieb Haunted House. So let's see how far we get with this game, and I'll continue to outline things that I discover with it and um, ongoing work. So, until next time, thanks for watching.